we, I think we were thinking this way and we've been telling everybody that even though there's news about electric cars and Tesla and all this other stuff, that the industry is going to shift to fixed stops with the, uh, you know, negative equity that most people have and what they're driving every, you know, the, the interest rates sort of, it's a perfect storm that fixed stops for the, for the foreseeable future is going to be the star of the show. Yeah. I think we've seen the highest S pops, which is service and parts profitability that we've seen. And it will only get better. We're getting the same sort of results that most people wouldn't believe. Yep. So yeah, when we talk about the, I, I w- saw somebody's thing the other day that they were, they were talking about the increase in ELR for their clients. It's a software company. It was $9. Not even close to what we're doing. $4. No, it was like, uh, it was more than that, but it's not, not even close. Um, and once again, they don't talk about profit. So, you know, it's easy to pump up hours per row. It's easy to pump up an effective labor rate, but if it doesn't go to the bottom line, it's all for naught. And I think we, we've never had the balance and understanding with our coaches, with, with our, you know, I think we're in the best spot that we've ever been that side of things, I guess. Yeah. I would say it was, it was a record number of record months. For our clients, which I've never seen, you know, it's very normal that we'd have a record month from a client, but the sheer amount of clients that had record months. And I wonder if maybe that is, you know, a shift that we do too internally when it comes to our clients and talking to them about, you know, their investments and, you know, cause they make a huge investment in training and coaching for their fixed ops departments. But one of my favorite things that we do, and I don't know if you and I've talked about this very much, but the ROI calculator. Yeah. Um, Where nobody else wants to think that way. If you're a vendor doing advisor training or you're doing software, whatever it is, you don't want to be held accountable for the profitability. Not very regularly. We are the, I believe we are the only company out there. Yeah. We don't want to talk about increasing sales or increasing gross. We want to talk about net profit. Yeah. And you can increase gross and your net can go down. I'm, yeah. I see it in 20 groups all the time where the average in the 20 group is up so much in sales, up so much in gross, and the profits are down overall. Yeah, because they just spent their way into it. Yep. So, yeah, we want to, uh, we want to become business people. I would say we, uh, we have the best roster of clients that we've ever had, just talent and um, – Well, I think two things. We're more effective, but also we're attracting a better client. Yeah. We're, the way that we're doing things. I think we're a little pickier. Yeah. Um, and then the thing that, they're, that they all are really, really good at is that speed and execution part. And I think we, ha- we have a lot of decisions to make about how big we want to be in that side of the business, too. Yeah. Like how, you know, I think we'll only get pickier next year. Yeah. I agree with you. There, there will be a point. Um, Which is great because the people that we're working with want to actually, you know, they're engaged. They want to make a difference. That's right. They're not indifferent. They're not looking, you know, just for a magic pill sort of thing. Thanks so much for watching this clip of Service Driving Revolution. We're uploading new stuff every day. So make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss out. If you have a question you'd like us to answer on the show, Call 8333-ASK-SDR and we'll answer your question on the show. That's 8333-ASK-SDR. For special deals on our books and training, head over to offers.chriscollinsinc.com. Now that's offers.chriscollinsinc.com. I'm Chris Collins and I'll see you in the next video.